Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is Boing by Cetonix. So, Cetonix synth take their name from the Cetonix Brachioris, also known as the Quokka. The Quokka is a, well, a ferocious marsupial species native to Australia, and they look something like this. As you can see, they're extremely cute and they're quite, well, they're quite social and they're completely unfazed by, uh, by humans. So they're, they're totally not afraid of or anything, which they probably need to be, right? Uh, but that's a topic for a different time altogether. Um, so that's a bit more about the, um, about the name Cetonic Synth. But this video is going to be about the Boeing which is their LPG, and this is an active LPG. So as most of you know, my favorite LPG is the Sia Modular 2 LPG. It's a passive one, it's a double LPG, and it is extremely different from the Boeing. Uh, these are completely different beasts, and I can't go as far as to uh, really well, compare them, because they both have very specific applicability and very specific functions within your rack. But I will let you in on a little secret. I really love the Boeing and it's, well, on the one hand, of course, the name, right? That's just great. Uh, for those of you who've been um, uh, well, growing up in the 90s, Beavers and Butthead, boing, that, that always gets me, right? So still, the Boeing, it's an active LPG. And I would say, well, let's just dive right in because uh, we're in for a treat, right? So make sure you've got something to drink, something to eat, nice and comfy, because uh, here we go. Boing by Cetonix. Let's have a quick look at what we have here. But before we actually dive into and start describing the actual well, layout of this module, I do have to introduce some of the inner workings of this specific LPG. So what we have here is essentially two light dependent resistors, and you can select how many of those you want with the switch there. And those are then acting as the actual low pass filters. So the fun thing then of course becomes is how do you then influence those uh, light dependent resistors? And that's of course done by the, well, by the LEDs literally LEDs in the module that are then lighting up those uh, those LDRs. And how do you then, well, influence the actual light that comes from these LEDs? That's of course then done by, well, by the CV that you patch in there, the, the gates and triggers that you patch in there, but also with the offset. So what you actually see here in this LED that's of course a representation of what's happening internally as well with the LEDs lighting up the, uh, the LDRs. So what we can then do is of course, what well, you've, you've got your offset. So that's the, or the base setting of the LDRs, which are again, our low pass filters essentially. Uh, then you've got damping and keep in mind that damping, what it does, it's not a filter of any sorts. No, it actually introduces an inverse of the signal coming in and it well it 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 adds that to the signal coming into the first uh, LDR the first order of uh, of a vectoral essentially because that's what we've built there and then of course you've got your CV attenu attenuator so that essentially tells well, okay how much effect would incoming CV have on the well on the offset which is again, essentially the cutoff frequency for these filters. Uh, then you've got your selector, how many LDRs you want, or how many filters you want, uh, one or two. And then you've got your CV in, where you can patch things in like LFOs or envelopes, anything you might like. Uh, you've got your hit inputs, that's where you pass in triggers or, uh, or gates or anything like that. And you've got your well, our audio in and your audio out. So the most important thing with, uh, with LPGs is of course, how do they sound? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give you a quick listen of the actual audio that we're gonna be working with. So let me just grab my headphones as well so I can hear it as well. 
So I'm just going to use the ORNA and I'm just going to pass in a triangle wave. So first of all, I'm just going to show you what we have. Let me just do it like this. So there we have it. As you can see, a nice sharp triangle wave. That's the one that we're going to be working with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw this into the audio in there. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to get the output and I'm going to throw that into the buff Jarvis because I, I do want to, on the one hand, show you what's happening, uh, but I'm also want, I'm also there to show you well how it actually sounds. So I'm just going to grab this and patch that into the ES9 there, grab another cable and patch this into the vivisect there you go so if i now open up the gates you'll see that we already get some distortion um, because of course well the the triangle wave the wave shape has been distorted it's a bit more well you might want to call it uh, <laughs> a bit more Pulse, pulsey, you might say, but that's of course something that we uh, that we truly want. So if I open this up, what I can also do is I can just dampen that. As you can see, this is again something that will influence the actual shape, but also the well, as you see, all of the harmonics there. So essentially, for those of you with the well, with the background in Fourier analysis. This is, of course, how you then design your, your actual wave shape. So dampened all the way down. It's a more, well, it's an easier Fourier transform, as you can see. But still, it is a, it's a very promising shape, and it's a nice sound to it. So let's just uh, turn this down. What I want to do then is I just want to throw in a very sharp trigger into the the hit. I just want to let you listen to how that sounds. So I've got the Pamela's new workout configured to do that. So I'm just going to do it like that. And I'm going to turn up the attenuator for the CV like that. I'm just going to grab the CV in. There you go. And you'll see that the actual well, decay time is, of course, exactly what you are expecting from an LPG. Let me just zoom in a bit so we can actually see the actual shape there. There you go. So this is a very, a very sharp trigger. Let me just uh, show you what the trigger looks like as well. So I'm just going to disconnect the trigger and putting that into the ES9 for now. And if I then sh zoom out a bit, you'll see how sharp it actually is. There you go. So let's patch that back into the CV in. Beautiful sound. Let's throw in a Lowest, a uh, lower sound. So this is, of course, with just one of the LDRs, one of the, the essentially the factorials active. Now we've got two. As you can see, a much sharper sound to it. But still, a great, a great sound there, none, nonetheless. So what we then can do is, instead of just using this with CV in, we can also patch this into the the hit. So I'm just gonna grab two additional cables, and I'm just gonna let you see how that works. There you go. 
so it essentially becomes even higher let me just see if we can zoom in a bit further so this is with both if I then disconnect the hit you'll see that it's not as powerful so essentially there you have it so what I then do is instead of just using a triggering I'm just gonna patch this into the ataxia and I'm gonna introduce a an envelope so I'm just gonna grab this patch that's in there and show you what the envelope looks like. So there you have it. That's the envelope that we're using. And let's now patch that into CV. Even shorten that if we want. That's too short. So this is now more of a gate. So if we then throw it into a hit, we're not really getting anything out of there. But the nice thing is, if you use this gate, you can actually see what the decay time of the actual vectorals, in this case, so this is down the two vectoral side, and if I flip the switch again, you'll see a longer decay with just one. There you go. So let's turn the... So on the one hand, you now have to decay from the actual envelope, but you also have to decay from the uh, from the factual. Shorten that time a bit. Maybe a different shape. So you can do all kinds of great things with this. Let's go back to the actual trigger in. So back to the trigger. And let's zoom in a bit. And then introduce a bit more damping. So now we have damping at the 12 o'clock side and now we have it all the way clockwise great right so one of the other things you might be able to do is of course because this is just of course pinging that 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 lpg and that's just one thing but you can also do a lot more so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, disconnect all of this and i'm going to show you how you can use this for uh, for side chaining essentially this is one of the examples that um, uh, that was written in the actual manual so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to disconnect all of this and i'm just going to get the the actual trigger that we've got i'm going to use that to trigger foundation and the reason for doing that is on the one hand foundation is a great module and a great kick sound uh, but that also has a uh, an envelope out so what i'll do is i'll just grab that envelope patch that into the buff jarvis and let me just show you what that envelope looks like so there you go Let's see if that works yeah so there we have the envelope from the foundation uh, let me just patch this in so everyone can hear what we're working with there you go 
So that's the actual sound we've got. And we can then, of course, play around with that, make the, the envelope longer or very short. So we now have that envelope information. So what I'm then doing, I'm gonna use Buff Jarvis. And as you know, we have Buff Jarvis set up. So everything is normal to the first input. So I'm gonna grab the first from there. So you'll see that this is now the same envelope. I might need to zoom in a bit. So there you go. It's, just, it's exactly the same. So what I can then do is flip this switch. And now we've got the inverse of that envelope. And that's of course something that we can use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab another sound, which is gonna be, well, let's see what we have here. So I'm just gonna grab the, the saw from the owner, patch that into audio in, and also patch that into audio out and add that to another channel of the vivisect. And then open up the sound there. So that's great. What I'm gonna to do is I'm just gonna patch this into the third channel of the Buff Jarvis. And we'll then just get this into there. And I'm just going to replace this one with the actual sound we've got. So that's the the sound from the owner you'll see on the screen. And what I then do is I'm just gonna use the, the inverse of the envelope and I'm gonna put that into CD in. Automatic side chaining. And then of course we can play with the um, with the actual envelope shape. Make it really long. Or really snappy. Even shorter. This is of course nice if you just have one sound, but if we then just grab a bit of a melody there. And take this a bit higher. then of course if we change the, the tempo a bit maybe even change the So that's another approach for your LPGs. And this, of course, as said, you'll need to have some other things. You'll need to have access to a mixer, of course, and you will need to have a way of inverting the actual envelope that you have. Um, if you don't have a module like foundation that has its own envelope out, you might want to use an envelope follower. Um, so you can use any SLU limiter. Um, you, can use, you can use maths or um, very dedicated modules for getting um, envelopes out of sounds. Um, yeah, it's just a great, great, great approach. And I like the actual, well, let's call it life that Boeing brings to the table. Because that decay, that natural sound, the, 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 
the conga sound that it has, the, the bongos, all of that coming together in just one module, I like it. And then also if you can use it like, well, as we have it right now, as a as a side chaining thing, that's that's even even better. So if we then let me just throw this around, flip the switch again. I just love that 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 that. Yeah, I, I, I the only way I can describe it is calling it life that it has. I just love that. And I've been playing with several LPGs, of course, and this is something I love about every LPG. But the Boeing does offer a lot more by adding damping, by using uh, two inputs, of course, and then having the option of switching between one and two. So again, this is one of the, well, the first modules that Cytonix is uh, offering commercially. So I would recommend everyone to uh, reach out to uh, to Cytonix, uh, get a hold of one of the Boeings, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to review more of their uh, modules going forward. But still, Boeing is getting my stamp of approval and um, with that being said, I would say let's go back to the studio and uh, finish this uh, and wrap it up. So I truly hope you enjoyed this video on Boeing by Cytonix Synth. And as I said, this is quite a different LPG than the ones I've uh, used previously, which were mostly, well, passive. And I, I did mention the, the CM Modular 2 LPG. And I think that you couldn't find two LPGs quite as different as these two. And that doesn't say that one is better than the other. No, absolutely not. I do think that both of them are best in their class, uh, but they do have very specific and different uh, use cases. And I do think that going forward, I will have to, both of them in my go-to rack because I have certain use cases where I want to use the, the 2LPG and I will have specific use cases where I want to use the Boeing because I'm really impressed with the with the sounds you're able to create with, with Boeing. I do love the well the flexibility it offers with damping, with the well the, the selectable one or two well stage factual and it's an overall great build quality in just 4 HP. So I, I, I think that you can't go wrong with uh, a module like Boeing. So I do strongly advise everyone to, uh, to look into this, especially if you're already considering buying an LPG, uh, have a good, well, have, do a, do a bit of a soul search and exercise and figure out what kind of LPG you want. Um, there are, there are a lot of, uh, passive LPGs out there and there are a lot of active LPGs um, there as well but this does get my stamp of approval and I do truly love Boeing and I can um, as I said I can only recommend this that's it um, so that being said um, I do truly appreciate everyone um, joining these videos watching these videos subscribing liking and of course also joining our Discord. Um, but that's of course the way how the channel grows. And I do have to thank everyone for doing so because thanks to you, we're this close to hitting a thousand subscribers. And well, that's of course just one just one marker that I'd like to, uh, to hit. Uh, but also the, the interactions we're getting on the Discord server, the well the the audiences for our weekly clubhouse meetings even though they're still called clubhouse we're doing them on discord nowadays so i might need to think about rebranding that um they're increasing we've had great guests over the last couple of weeks we had uh jack's from Cetonics on the show uh, last week 
and we had a true blast there as well. So uh, do feel free to join the Discord, feel free to become a patron or buy me a cup of coffee. And if you are considering uh, buying any sort of module in the next couple of days, uh, please consider using one of the affiliate links down below. They won't cost you anything extra, but it will ensure that a little percentage will go towards this channel. So I uh, thank you in advance. For now, I would say, please everyone, as always, please stay safe, stay healthy, live life, consider your, um, your friends and family, just pick up the phone and, and call one of them today and um, hope to see you for my next video. Cheers. Thank you.